Good afternoon, everyone. I am Eastern Gateway Community College President Michael Gagan. It is my privilege to welcome you to the Graduation Achievement Ceremony. This is a virtual celebration of the academic achievements and successes from the past year. And it is wonderful to be here together because together, through hard work, we triumphed in the past year. And you should all be proud of your accomplishments. At Eastern Gateway, we have a unique mission, serving a unique and outstanding student body. The average age of our student is 33 years old. Most are already working with families to care for while they find time to pursue a higher degree. The Graduation Achievement Ceremony lets us come together once again as a community of learners and to take a few moments to recognize those outstanding students who reach new heights of success, both inside and outside the classroom. To those being honored, we thank you for your hard work and dedication, and we look forward to seeing the positive impact you will have in your lives moving forward. Now please rise for the singing of the National Anthem by Beth Rupert Warren, a proud alumna of Eastern Gateway Community College. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the We're so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, My name is John Crooks and I'm the Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs at Eastern Gateway Community College. I have the great honor and privilege to participate in our virtual celebration of academic achievement and success. This honors and achievement ceremony allows for an opportunity to come together in our unique situation as a community of learners to both celebrate and reflect upon our many academic accomplishments. In the Academy, this is a special day. Those that are being recognized have done awesome things inside and outside of the classroom. This should not be overlooked or forgotten. It needs to be celebrated, and that is what we are going to do. To all being honored, cherish your recognition. You have worked very hard and accomplished something many others only dream about. Tomorrow awaits with new and exciting opportunities because of your accomplishments. I now have the distinct honor of introducing our keynote speaker, Dr. Thomas Graham. Dr. Graham is our Dean of Academics. Dr. Graham worked in a steel mill until he was 26 years old and like many of you, worked his way through college. He now has a Bachelor's of Science degree in Education, being certified to teach economics, sociology, and history. He also has three master's degrees, one in clinical social work, one in sociology, and one in theology. He also has a PhD in philosophy, specializing in sociology. His specialty is in analyzing educational systems from a sociological point of view. He has written eight critical reviews for the American Educational Research Association and has chaired the Sociology of Education section for the North Central Sociological Association for many years. He wrote and developed the social work program here at Eastern Gateway Community College 
and is working toward establishing a baccalaureate degree in social work for Eastern Gateway. Our keynote speaker, Dr. Thomas Graham. Hello, everyone. It is a great pleasure for me to be here congratulating all of you for your well-deserved upcoming graduation. This is a special time for you because you have qualities that separate you from many people in society. Most people do not have a college degree. I do not mean that in an elitist way, but in a way that you should feel proud. There are many paths in life to travel. I am sure many of you thought about giving up from time to time, but you persevered and you did it, and no one can take that from you. One has to have certain character traits in order to make it, in order to get a college degree, and all of you have them or you would not be graduating. What do I mean by having a certain character trait? Well, I mean this. Character may be defined as a distinguishing attribute or feature that each of you have. This feature usually consists of ethical strength and a person's competency, dependability, and integrity. All of you have these attributes that make you stand out, whether you want it or not. This character development is the result, to a great degree, of the type of parents you have, in addition to other significant others in your life such as your teachers. All of you have been born with a gift. You have the intellectual ability to be whatever you want to be, and you have used this character to be a college graduate. You should be humbly proud. Another variable that is important in order to be a college graduate is scholarship. Scholarship may be defined as knowledge that comes from studying or learning. Everybody learns, whether that learning is from living life or from books or the classroom. But all of you have taken the concept of learning a step further. You've perfected your methods of learning. And as a true scholar, you can apply what you have learned to yourself and to others. And if I have a piece of advice to you in regard to learning, I would say this. Learning is painful, whether we learn from a book or from the lessons of life. Learning requires struggle. It demands pain. And sometimes we have to crawl before we can walk. To be a scholar is hard work. You might get knocked down a few times on your journey for knowledge. You might want to quit, and that is an option. But remember, the further you go with your education, the more freedom you will have. You can become the decision maker versus constantly being told what to do. You see, there are many paths in life to travel, to choose from. Some lead to dead ends, others have detours, but some paths lead to a greater understanding of yourself. And when you understand yourself, you will be a better and informed leader. You will be the example of an educated person. Not that you will be perfect, but you will be a better thinker, which will help you in everything you do. And because you are a better thinker, having developed your cognitive skills, you will be a leader. Leadership means having the capacity to lead, which you now have. But remember that being a good leader is different than just leading. Good leaders earn the respect of their followers. They do not demand it. They earn it. They are worthy of respect. They are worthy to lead. So have the knowledge to lead, have the ability to lead, but be humble in how you lead. Lead by example. Teach the followers with humility. Having character, being a person of knowledge, a scholar, and becoming a leader, carry with it the responsibility of service. Use your talents to give back to society. All of you have a gift. Use that gift to help others. Because of your abilities and being a college graduate, most of you will be rewarded very well in society. But remember, you did not get there on your own. Many helped you on the way, so remember to help others. Sometimes we need to put the well-being of others above ourselves. In closing, let me state the following. We all have many paths to choose from in life. Some lead to great rewards. Some lead to detours and dead ends and take us off our path towards self-fulfillment. And remember, even the old and experienced travelers of life make mistakes. But learn from the mistakes and you will be stronger and a better person. Live up to being a college graduate. Always walk on without looking back and living with regrets. Do not let a situation beat you. Pick yourself up and move forward. You have the ability. You are in charge of how far you want to climb the ladder of knowledge. There is so much to learn. Go do it. Good luck on your journey in life, 
and congratulations on a job well done, now being a college graduate. Academic Honors is held in high regards within institutions of higher education. The robust challenges put forward by our faculty demand high quality work and effort from our students. Those that tackle the task with excellent results are recognized in a long-standing tradition of the Academy. There are three sets of awards for recognizing this work that can be only described as outstanding. Please note these awards are cum laude, magnum cum laude, and summa cum laude. We recognize the following, cum laude, top 20 to 30 percent of students or GPA of 3.50 to 3.74. Magnum cum laude, top 10 to 15% of the students, or GPA of 3.75 to 3.89. Summa cum laude, top 1 to 5% of the students, or a GPA of 3.9 to 4.0. Cum laude is a Latin phrase meaning with praise, and its designation is usually for honor students. Like other academic honors, colleges and universities usually require a high GPA to earn this distinction. Magnum cum laude is another Latin honor that translates to with great honor and is typically reserved for students who have achieved academic excellence but do not fall into the upper echelon of graduates. The pinnacle of Latin honor awards is the distinction summa cum laude, which translates to with the highest honor. All three labels are distinctions of excellence that reflect great work, and show future success to employers or transfer institutions. Congratulations on your academic accolades.
Students are the backbone of any institution. Their experiences tell a story more powerful than any media piece or statements made by an administrator. They have been successful, encountered and overcame a challenge, and have grown into a different and hopefully more mature and knowledgeable human being. Their interactions with other students, the faculty, and the staff are where additional learning and growth occurs. Eastern Gateway Community College is a place where students achieve their initial goal and receive support for their next steps. As the Chief Academic Officer, it is my pleasure to introduce the Student Government Association Vice President, Tiffany Cooper, who will share the Eastern Gateway Community College student experience. Hi, my name is Tiffany Cooper. I am Eastern Gateway Community College's Student Government Association's Vice President for Online Campus. It is an honor to speak with you today. My experience with college has been a roller coaster of a ride. I've stopped, started, stopped, and started all over again. I wasn't truly invested in my education until I became a student at Eastern Gateway. Just like many other students who juggle school, work, parenthood, and so many other obligations, I too had responsibilities that I had to manage while studying, taking exams, and submitting assignments by 11.59 on Sunday. It wasn't easy, but we have all persevered. To enhance our college experience, EGCC offers groups like TRIO, SGA, BSU, and the Student Ambassadors Program. Many of us online students only interact with our fellow classmates via discussion posts. So to have many various types of groups like Active Minds, PTK, the IT Club, and the Oak Tree Journal to be a part of really makes our college journey a special one. On top of managing home life and homework, I decided to boost my own college experience by participating in the Student Government Association as well as the Black Student Union. Both groups have made my time at EGCC exuberant. I not only excelled academically, but by participating in the many student activities offered, like workshops, trivia nights, and online cooking classes, I excelled socially as well. The path to graduation wasn't easy, but we have all persevered. We kept pushing for that A, we kept striving to make the Dean's List, we labored to pass that final. We all may have had similar educational experiences while at EGCC, from the discussion posts due every Wednesday to the final projects due in week eight, but the ability to join student groups and participate in student activities has allowed us to tailor our student experience and truly make it our own. As we all prepare for graduation and the next steps in our lives, and our education, we can take with us all that EGCC has given us, our education, the relationships that we formed, and most importantly, our willingness to strive for the best. The 2023 EGCC graduation class will take all these things and implement them into our next level of success. So that we, that when given the opportunity, we will not only persevere, we will succeed. In closing, I wanna send a special thank you to my family and to Abby Twyford. Your encouragement and support carried me from my first class all the way to graduation. And I will be forever grateful to all of you. Go Gators! Hello, I am Professor Karen Spindler, the Phi Theta Kappa Chapter Alpha Omicron New Advisor here at Eastern Gateway Community College. For more than 100 years, the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society has helped from its beginnings to boast more than 3.5 million members in the United States and 10 sovereign nations. This means they have helped millions of high achieving college students reach their full potential. They do not just recognize their academic success, they give them the opportunities to develop professionally and with leadership skills, earn scholarships, explore career paths, and make the world much bigger. Today we are honoring our Eastern Gateway Community College students who have excelled academically and were leaders as officers and members in Phi Theta Kappa 
Alpha Omicron Nu. I get a question from new members. How can I become involved? I am an online student from different state. It is about getting involved, attending meetings, and becoming dedicated to your college and your chapter. Anything is possible because of their outstanding leadership and hard work. Alpha Omicron Nu receives accolades of recognition. Fifth year in a row, the chapter gets deemed a five-star chapter. This is awarded to chapters that complete the five-star action plan, some of which are the honors in action and college projects. This shows how dedicated our officer team and individual members are to PTK and their personal growth as Eastern Gateway Community College students. None of these awards would have been possible without these officers' dedication, sacrifice, and leadership. I would like to individually recognize our Alpha Omicron new officers from 2022-23, the most distinguished officer team for the exceptional atmosphere of teamwork and leadership. As I close out my remarks, I wish all our members and fellow graduates the best of luck. For the officers who are graduating Eastern Gateway Community College, I and all our Alpha Omicron new members are immensely thankful for your dedication and commitment to our chapter. Your academic achievements and accomplishments are to be commended and applauded. Phi Theta Kappa members, your four hallmarks of Phi Theta Kappa stand for leadership, service, fellowship, and scholarship excel and know them. Congratulations to you all.
Hello, my name is Abby Twyford Wilson, and I'm the Director of Student Activities and Advisor for the Student Government Association at Eastern Gateway Community College. In the spring of 2017, the college piloted a new program for students out of a need for leadership development opportunities. The goal was to help students become well-rounded representatives of the college to their local communities and liaisons to their fellow students. Workshops focused on servant leadership and volunteerism, communication, character and integrity, and other pillars of leadership. The students' personal growth and development as representatives within the college community has not only allowed them to thrive as students here at EGCC, but will foster their continued success in their future endeavors, whether in the classroom after transferring to a four-year institution or in the workplace after attaining an associate's degree. We have continued to offer this experience to students across the country to work with them representing the best of what EGCC has to offer, no matter where they call home. One of the most important pieces of the leadership puzzle is service to others. Students must identify a service project within their communities to fulfill one of the requirements of successfully completing the program. The projects selected by individuals often reflected the personal experiences and values of the ambassadors initiating them. Here in Ohio, from coast to coast, and everywhere in between, Eastern Gateway students made impacts on their communities in a wide number of ways. Students were asked to apply and provide letters of recommendation, as well as a short essay reflecting on this quote from John C. Maxwell. Leaders must be close enough to relate to others, but far enough ahead to motivate them. The students being recognized during this ceremony exemplified the spirit of this quote. They helped bridge the gap that can exist between the student body and the faculty, staff, and administration of the college. Their grades, service to the college and community, and accomplishments allow them to stand out as role models for the students following behind them. And I have had the privilege of watching them grow into the leaders they are today. I can't wait to see what the next steps of their journey will be. The following students will receive honors cords and pins with full commendation as EGCC student ambassadors. In the second administration of the Eastern Gateway Community College Student Government Association, students from across the country came together to put their leadership skills to work, representing the student body. They were tasked with setting their own agenda, identifying areas of concern, and making recommendations for how to improve the student experience at EGCC. During their terms as officers and senators, this group worked with other members of the college community to provide the student perspective on a variety of topics. In particular, they were actively engaged in committees focusing on the college's accreditation process. Within their regular meetings, discussions between members of this administration demonstrated that they were not going to be deterred in their efforts for transparency, accountability, and progress. Throughout the challenges of the past year, they asked hard but thoughtful questions demonstrating the broad knowledge and experience base that they were bringing to the table as elective delegates of the student body. This group highlighted the rich diversity of backgrounds of EGCC students as a whole. Parents, recent high school graduates, military veterans, union members, students with accessibility requirements, LGBTQ students, and those of all different racial, religious, and ethnic backgrounds were represented here. They came together virtually on a regular basis from West Virginia, Alaska, Florida, Maryland, Ohio, Texas, and other locations to work towards the common cause of creating a brighter future for their fellow students at EGCC. American poet Gwendolyn Brooks, the first African American to win a Pulitzer Prize, once said, we are each other's harvest, we are each other's business, 
We are each other's magnitude and bond. To close each meeting, a senator is nominated to share a motivational quote with the group. This quote was offered by Senator Sharice Hunter, explaining that she picked this to say, we should recognize that the members of the SGA are more than just students. They are an educational community, a group of people who are here with the same purpose and reason, to strive to grow to be better than they were yesterday. The only way they can achieve that as part of the student government is to bond together and work together and be a magnitude to create solutions for themselves and their fellow students. Although their time in office is limited, these students used it to work on behalf of their peers. Today we recognize the time, dedication, and hard work that these students have put into creating an impact and legacy at Eastern Gateway. President Caitlin McLeod, Vice President Allison Domagala, Vice President Allie Richards, Vice President Tiffany Cooper, Senator Mercedes De La Cruz Romero, Senator John Drips, Senator Sharice Grimes, Senator Jennifer Nickel, Senator Paula Oval Evans, Senator Edgar Rogers, Senator David Whitaker, Senator Dechelle I. Wright, Senator Desiree York. Good afternoon. My name is Brittany Crozio and I serve the college as the executive director of the TRIO programs. It is my honor to stand before you today and offer my heartfelt congratulations on this momentous occasion. I am so happy to be celebrating you at this graduate achievement ceremony. As TRIO scholars, you have shown an unwavering commitment to your education and your success is a testament to your dedication and hard work. The TRIO programs are designed to help students overcome barriers to higher education, and you have shown that with hard work and support, anything is possible. Over the past year, students participated in workshops to help with career exploration, financial literacy, emotional intelligence, online learning, and many others. Some students also began our pilot program, the Transfer Opportunity Program, which is designed to help students from the moment they decide they want to transfer to a four-year institution. You also participated in fun activities such as bingo night and trivia night. Being able to juggle your course loads with the expectations of the TRIO program got you to this moment, graduation, finally. I want to commend you for your determination and resilience in the face of challenges. Your perseverance has brought you to this moment and it will continue to guide you in all of your future endeavors. As you move forward in life, I encourage you to work hard, stay focused, and never lose sight of your dreams. Remember that your education is a lifelong journey and there is always more to achieve. As you embark on the next phase of your academic or professional journey, I have no doubt that you will continue to make us all proud. With the completion of your degree, you are joining a network of more than 5 million TRIO graduates. Congratulations and welcome to the class of 2023 TRIO Scholars Alumni. This has been a wonderful gathering of the many successes that Eastern Gateway students have produced. The work within the classroom, outside the classroom, 
and with our many student organizations is extremely impressive. We have a powerful story as an institution of higher education, and that story is built upon our students, faculty, and graduates and their work. Eastern Gateway Community College has experienced some challenging moments recently, and so have our students. We are hopeful to follow the lead of these students who show that when they set their mind to something, anything is possible. And the results are amazing. This great event of academic recognition and success is the start of our season of celebration. We also have Grad Fest and graduation coming up. Keep up the great work, Gator Nation. It is being noticed. And we are very proud of you.